speaking of traffic anger, Deja Jones, <laughs> it is Friday and that means it's time for another one take trip. Last week, she took us to the Evil Knievel Museum to teach us about America's original daredevil. And this week, she's taking us to a place that actually teaches, teaches about lamp working. Check it out. Our adventure takes us to Public Glassworks, Kansas City, where we explore the art of lamp working. This is Public Glassworks, Kansas City, and it's the lower level of my home, and we converted it into a glass studio. Um, in 2013. Lamp working is a type of glass work in which a torch or lamp is used to melt glass. Once it's in a molten state, the glass is formed by shaping it with tools or hand movements. And here at Public Glass Works, they teach you everything you need to know. You just need a pair of these. Okay, good. So these are purple lenses and they're yeah, going they to are. filter out the orange flare that when you put the glass in the flame, it, it's a bright orange flare. Oh. And you really can't see what's going on. Oh gosh, okay. So first I'm going to show you how to make a bead. All right. Jacob, how do I look? <laughs> it's a look. Yes. These are actually fabulous. You light the lighter first and put it right next to those jets down there. You're going to open it to the left. Oh. There's the propane. Yep. And then you add Whoa. the oxygen. Hottest point of the flame is right here where we call that Brazil. Okay. Kansas is in the middle because it's a little more neutral. Yes. And then Canada is the coolest place. Canada. So you're going to just warm up just the end of this thing that's called a mandrel. Mandrel. Yes. And it's been dipped in a graphite solution so that when I put the glass on there, the bead won't stick. Take the glass and point it down towards Canada. Yep. And once it stops popping, you come down to Kansas. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to gather a glob of glass, bright orange, and I'm going to touch it to the mandrel, and then I'm going to very slowly what? twist away from myself. But you see the bead is slightly below the flame. That's yeah. very important. All right, so now I'm going to oh my shape gosh. it. This is like space or something. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a universe or planet. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, yeah, this is... <gasps> Okay, so there's the bead. Now it's time for me to try my hand. You are doing it. I know. All right, so now get your mandrel down there and get ready to receive the glass. And as soon as it hits the mandrel, you start rolling it away from you. You're doing good. Excellent, just keep going. Move your mandrel down just slightly. There, there you go. Oh my gosh. You're doing it. Okay, so now pull them apart. Now you can shape your bead. If you want to put it back in, put it back in Kansas and try to get it to be a little more round. Okay, so we're gonna call that your first bead. Now on to my second. Down a little bit more. There you go. Keep adding. We're gonna make a little bit bigger bead this time. Okay. Add some more. Keep it rolling. It's very important that you keep it rolling because gravity is going to pull it in some really weird directions. While it's kind of semi-clear like that, you're going to pick up the frit. This is going to be your favorite bead ever. Jacob! in the kiln for you before yeah. it explodes. Oh gosh, it's gonna, it can Oh, it's explode. gorgeous, yeah. So what happens is uh, the outside cools off really fast. Uh-huh. And then, so then the inside is still molten. Public Glassworks Kansas City teaches beginner classes that cost $75 per person for three hours. And throughout the course, you'll make seven or eight beads. You can also take a beginner's marble class where you'll make around five marbles in the three hour time frame. The professional husband and wife duo behind the glass studio offer tons of options and learning opportunities opportunities and they also sell their glass work online. And this is more of the work that I'm known for is the birds. The birds? Oh my god. Go figure. <laughs> I hate birds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to tell you, That's but all these right. don't scare me actually. These no, are like no. beautiful birds. They're kind of like evil creatures in a way. Thank They're, you. They I've are. been saying that. They're. Jacob, are you getting this on camera? <laughs> They're. They're not very nice to each other. Thank and you. Especially like if, you know, the owls come. Most of them don't like the owls. <laughs> I'm done. This is it. This is all we're doing for the One Tank. And on that note, I'm Deja Jones for One Tank Trips on KSHB 41 News. I've been trying to tell you about them <laughs> birds. <laughs> Listen, evil.
Okay. Stacey's That's what they not are. a fan. Oh my goodness. Not her, her birds were pretty though. Those were they really actually cool. were so gorgeous. Yeah. Hello. I was like, okay, I'm not afraid of these. These are cute. <laughs> cute little glass. I can't believe she makes them out of glass, you yeah. guys. And she also had what I didn't show in there. She made an entire outfit of glass and she wears it to like these festivals. What? Insane. Insane amount of skill. I couldn't even get my bead right. Like my little <laughs> tiny bead was, did you see it? It was a little lopsided. It's okay, okay, Deja, give yourself some grace. It's girl. art. Yeah, it's good. art. It's, you know, it's whatever you want it to be. There we go. You there guys, are you, are you seeing all the support I'm getting this morning? This hey, is lovely. I'm just what we glad do around here. I'm glad it didn't explode or anything, the place. I know. Yeah, she, like, <laughs> ripped that out of right? your hand real fast. I was so proud. I'm <laughs> looking at it, and she's like, okay, okay, it's going to explode. I'm like, ma'am. That's so crazy. What? I wonder why. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's wild.